doing some repairs on the dump truck today. So the problem is with this left side brake light turn signal. It decided it doesn't want to work no more. So this one, it's working fine. But it's also, I believe in the harness, it's prior to where the trailer connection is because the same light is out on the trailer too. Let's get into this and see if we can figure something out. So usually when I'm diagnosing stuff like this, I use one of these little test lights, but that hooks to power and ground. So when you touch it to something, it tells you what it is. It's probably too rusty. But anyways, ground, power. And then because this cord ain't long enough, I just run jumper cables to what I'm doing. So let's cut this harness open again. I've had this stinking harness back here open so many times. Here we go again. Let's see, where does the trailer, that comes out of here, and goes back around, and then comes around, and up, and ties in here. So actually, I'm just going to cut this down here loose, because I believe it is, because that trailer harness tees off into this connector, and I guess the main harness, they both come together. Actually, we'll just cut it all open. Why not? Okay. So that goes to the trailer, and then it tees off here and goes to the truck. So we're just going to start by checking this plug here. Let's see what we got. Well, there's one signal. Ground. Nothing. Ground. So that's probably supposed to be the other signal here. And there's nothing to it here. So that means we just gotta go farther back. That's kind of, usually I don't record electrical repairs because it's really, in my opinion, boring to watch. I get some odd enjoyment out of doing them, but it's boring. This crap to watch. So this splits off into two. This only has one wire coming out of it. What's this? Shouldn't be. Well, that's AC. Why does that... That. So weird. What do any of these other wires do? That's one signal. None of them wires do anything. What about here? The ground. Ground. Nothing. And the ground.
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually back probe power and figure out which wire is the left side turn signal. So in order to do that, I'm going to use, I actually got learned this from J.C. Smith. Let's take a little piece of MIG wire. And you can stick it right down in terminals like that. Let's see, what is this got? It's ground. Then we just use some alligator clips. I got really, really hot though. Not that one. Okay, it is this wire right here. That is not the turn signal. Let's move over to this one. Okay. I was one over too far. Now this one here is the brake turn signal. So let's figure out, probably goes to the same place, but Okay, so it's this green with the red stripe. I didn't see anything that looked visually concerning all the way up through there, so I'm just gonna peel back the electrical tape I put over this wire loom. Let's see if I just find anything that stands out. It comes off of this plug. I want to say it was green with the red stripe. Yeah. That's what it be.
Okay. Let's see how far did I take this down there? Yeah, we'll just peel all that off. Pull this out of here. Green with a red stripe. Should be this one. Right in here that I do not have power to this. So all I'm gonna do is just jam this in here. Okay. So we got power right here. So our problem is now narrowed between here and there. So let's follow this wire. I'm glad I was gonna really start going to the front. Wiring goes all the way up into this little loom here. So I guess let's open up the little loom. Figure out what's up. That looks like a this? I mean, that spot does look a little weird. Let me see. Got nothing there. Let's go behind this little weird spot in this wire. Got power here. Let me guess. No power here. So I guess. No, I don't really guess. So our bad spots, this little thing right here, that don't even look bad though. Let's cut it open and see what we got. Where's my cutters? Oh, here they are. Right here, it just looked a little off. You see, strips on this bag. See what this looks like. Just corroded up. All it is just corrosion. Let me strip this back. Oh yeah, look at that corrosion. See all that in there. 
Hmm, that's bad. <laughs> Actually, really bad. I'm getting into some good wire. Let's go down here somewhere. Ah, that's good wire. So we'll go down here. See, now that nice, clean, shiny copper. We're going to throw that. You can kind of see, just went down through there looking. And you see how there's some black and green corrosion in there. Then I got the good, well, pull that off. You'll see that green corrosion crap in there. Let's see if I can see all that. Okay, now we have good clean wire here. Now, how far? I have to go back to this. Two, two, four. It's making connection there. I'll just stop there. It's a lot better than it was. Okay, sweet. Let me go grab a piece of wire that is longer than that, and we'll get this fixed up. All right, found my piece of wire. It's red, but that's fine. Actually, it might be a gauge or two bigger. Anyways. has to go all the way up and around and connect into that. So we'll cut this right about here. get this fixed just take these two give them a nice little twist slide the solder shrink tube on it I like to go over these with some electrical tape just because sometimes I've had like little pieces of wire poke out this stuff and I just do this as extra insulation factor probably not really necessary but I figure it don't hurt nothing now let's stuff all this back in its thing
Okay, that should be fixed. So let's see if we got a left turn signal now. Well, it's blinking slow. Sweet. Means we'll have a brake light too, which is good. Yeah, that's kind of my strategy with stuff like that is figure out where you don't have power and then trace it back to where you do and then your problem's in the middle. So I'm going to get all this tidied up real nice. Okay, well it's fixed, got all these nice and tidied up. So let's work on something else.